Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time, uh, ready to get it in once again. Um, so let's rock, y'all. Let's see what the most high I got to say. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early what I seek these scripture study and prayer line on the 16th day in November of 2018. Uh, Occult Donna is in the building. Aaron is in the building. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm glad you got at me this morning, young man. We got it in. Uh, and uh, you was able to tell me the scripture. Um, Nicole, good morning. Good morning. Barack Shalom. Barack Shalom. Occult Rita B. Uh, Barack Shalom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, let's get ready uh, to go and get it in. Let's go to uh, let's go to Mark this morning. Mark uh, six, Mark six. Beginning at the first verse. Marcus. Marquis. Or Marcus. Beverly, how you doing, family member? How you doing this morning? Good to see you, young lady. You love it when you be hanging out with me. We go way back like car seats. Um Marquis. Six and one, and he went out from thence and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. Of course, we're talking about uh, Yahusha, right? And when the Sabbath days was come, he began to teach in the synagogues, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, "For whence has this man of uh, these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him that even?" Such mighty works are wrought by his hands. Um, is not this the, uh, the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and uh, uh, Jose and, and, and Judah and, and Simon are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. And Yahushua said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them. Um, it is it is good, y'all. Let's talk. But it is it, good w when you know somebody. You know, you know, for years, or, or their your family. Uh, Trenda, how you doing? But when you know, when you know somebody, um, you know, Ty. Thanks for chiming in. It's good. All right, Donna, I'm going to start focusing, okay? <laughs> um, but it, it, it is good when you know somebody, you know, you know, as your kinfolk, you raised in the same house or was raised with, with someone in the neighborhood and um, to see the metamorphosis process. That's kind of like a, a testimony. You see somebody one way, and you know how they are, and then you see the metamorphosis process, and people be like, wow, there's a God somewhere. <laughs> just, <laughs> just by seeing, you know, the, the, the metamorphosis process. Um, people... Um, can, can see you and magnify your father, which is in heaven. They say, oh, you used to be off the hook. Boy, you ain't, 
You ain't laying them down no more. You ain't, you ain't passing out dirt naps. You ain't, you, you ain't on the block getting it in no more. You used to be a player. Oh, girl was getting hurt. All that stuff become applicable when they see the masterful work of the most high in one's life. It fulfills the scriptures. You know, it says they can see your good works and magnify your father, um, which is in heaven. It, that, that, that's great. But unfortunately, it don't always work like that. Now, see, you got to take this in consideration. I'm not in a big hurry this morning, y'all. So you got to take this in consideration, right? You got to you got you got to take um, how um, a person could see you change and appreciate it. But then that can even change. In other words, when people have a form of yawliness and deny the power thereof, right? Say on Sundays they play their gospel music, right? But the other six days they playing too short. Now I ain't got nothing against short. In fact, I, 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 I love the brother, to be honest with you. I'm just talking about the music as opposed to someone that is supposed to be a believer, right? So you got someone that played the gangster rap music, 40 Water in them, right? You got someone that will listen to the old Dirty Bastard in them, right? Through the week. But on Sundays, they play gospel music, right? And they're concerned about you, Right, because they go to church on Sunday. They'll they'll smoke they'll smoke a joint with you through the week, and get drunk with you through the week, but they go to church. So that's your standard. You on a block. You a thug dude. You you a little hot mama. You swinging on poles, getting it like you live. You don't go to church on Sunday, and you don't break from your program on Sunday either. You're going to listen to the gangster rap music on Sunday, too, along with the other six days. So your standard then becomes this religious person that says to you, I'm praying for you. Right? Then all of a sudden, one day you take them up on their offer and you're in high pursuit of the most high. Then all of a sudden you learn enough word to find out that Sunday ain't good enough. We got to get into some Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Day, the Sabbath day. Now you showing them out. Not now you su superseded the standard that you looked up to. You're living better. Now they got an issue with that, right? <laughs> Now you come back to teach them that they're wrong. Uh-oh. That can become an issue. In fact, nine times out of ten, it becomes an issue. Where who used to witness to you and was the standard becomes the target of your prayer. You praying for them. Because the, the cover's been pulled that they have a form of yawliness denying the power thereof. The standard ain't the standard at all. <laughs> You find that out, and here we go with this whole thing, right? You also have a demographic of people that the counter happens. You got some folks that's able to see the change in your life, and they celebrate it. But then you got some folks that get offended that you used to be who you used to be, and now you have the, the audacity to come to them to correct them. And they don't want to hear it. They'll, they'll, they'll remind you you used to be a dope dealer. They'll remind you that you had a foul mouth. They'll remind you because they the, the truth then invaded their privacy. Everybody want their privacy, right? The truth has a way of invading one's privacy, getting in your mess and revealing it to you. And it don't smell good. Don't look good. Don't feel good to be corrected, especially when you're wicked and loving it. 
people love darkness rather than light. So when you correct them, they don't want to hear it. So we come with this, and he went forth from thence and came into his own country. Right? He had to. He 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 on the block. He at the house. Right? He came into his own country. And his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogues, right? And many hear him was astonished, saying, from whence has this man these things, right? They tripping off the wisdom that he taught with, the anointing, the authority that he taught with, right? But now they want to say, wait a minute, we know his parents. Ain't that little, ain't that little uh, Yahushua? That little, that little, yeah, yeah. I know his brothers and my, his sisters. I know the whole family. And then they became offended. They were offended based on the level of truth he had, based on who they wanted him to be in their mind. People will reduce you. People will reduce you because of their carnality. Because of the level of anointing in your life. It's hard to be corrected by somebody younger than you. It's hard to be corrected by someone that you've been knowing. That you want to say, oh, that's just so-and-so. Man, you, you listening? What he doing now? He preaching? You listen to him? Man, that dude is shysty. You can't li you listen to her? Man, that that man, I know her shit. Man, ain't nothing never been cool about. Oh, this is a new thing she on now, a new scam she running. That's how she getting the paper now. These is people thoughts when you go to your own country. Oh, that's Lil Will. Man, that's just Lil Will. What he got? He got? He he teaching now. Man, I, <laughs> you you go. Man, you crazy. Folks like to reduce you. And, 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 and the more anointed you are, the more they're, didn't it say that if it was offended? The more anointed you are, the more offended people become. When people get familiar with you, then they start discounting the anointing on your life, the call on your life. The word teaches how beautiful are the feet of them that bring glad tidings of good things. They say, uh, how can they believe in him and whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except he be sent? How beautiful are the feet of them that bring the good news and glad tidings of good things. That's Romans, the 10th chapter, y'all. And people would like to discount that whole process. How can you hear without a preacher? Folks want to feel that they're anointed themselves. You got to go through the process. It's a process to this. It may look easy to you based on your intellectual knowledge. No. No, you got to cry for this. You got to stay out of the bed to get this one. You got you got to get off the drugs to get this. You 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 got you got to start learning how to uh, prefer other people's business and life and souls over your own. You got to you got to you got to grow up in some in some in some selflessness in order to get a real anointing. I'm not talking about that church stuff. I'm not talking about oratorical skills. I'm not talking about someone is a good spokesperson got the gift of the gab. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you really have anointing from the most high and able to rightly divide the word of truth and get those nuggets and share with the people to the point that they change. It's the anointing that destroys the yoke. You shall know the truth and the truth will make you free from what? The lie? You don't, you, you don't, you don't, you don't get, you don't get that just for free. This don't come. You don't get this from theology school. This corrupt uh, church system. Want to teach you a bunch of Catholicism, mixing mixing uh, truth with the with, with, with the word, uh, mi mixing the truth with with paganism rather, with with their with their Tammuz, Sima, whatever the late lady name is, Sima, uh, somebody type it for me, uh, 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 Nimrod's uh, mama and so called wife. In the in the in the in the in, in Tammuz, because all false doctrine stems from that. But 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 and that's the the Ro the Roman is carrying that whole spiritual satanic system. That's what Tammuz, uh, supposedly the Immaculate Conception. Uh, 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 Tammuz's uh, birthday is uh, Christmas, and his resurrection is Easter, 
and they incorporated that in with 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 with, with, with truth. And and not only you got to study to show yourself approved, but you got to be one that 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 lived the life to get a true anointing from the Most High in order to carry out His last day bidding. And when you're able to do that, people would love to reduce you because the level of rebuke, the level of conviction that comes, it gets rough. It gets rough. But he said, my sheep hear my voice and the stranger, uh, they won't follow. When you belong to him, oh, you're going to follow truth ill regardless to, to who it come from. <laughs> they was like, it's not this, uh, the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother James, and and Jose, and and, and, and Judah, and and, and Sim, Simon, we even know his sisters, and they were offended. What? Because he had the audacity. They were offended. Who you think you corrected? Who you think you talking to? They were offended. I was raised with him. He used to be a crackhead. They was offended. Oh, he he dropped out of school. He ain't got, he, he ain't got no education. He ain't nobody to listen in to him for. They were offended. You got some people that can actually magnify the most high for seeing who you used to be, being morphed into who you should be. They can celebrate that and they'll take it they'll take it that the most high can do that for them. You can change me too. If you did it for him, if you did it for her, you could do it for me too. That's the, the appropriate response. But there's also another response that's more popular. And that response is, I don't want to hear nothing from you. Whether it is true, I can't receive it from you. I can't get past the package. That's what's wrong with the world right now, right? The revelation that... Uh, uh, the Negro, the, the 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 slave, the one that y'all done kicked and been been painted as thugs, y'all painted them as thugs, y'all painted them as low lives, y'all painted them as nothing and no good, and come to find out they're the children of Israel, and that's why they have such a problem because every nationality on the planet believes that they're above the Negro, the 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 bottom of the food chain is the Negro, one hundred percent. Whether you want to admit that or not, the police admit it for you and the judge and this system admit it for you. Uh, the Klan and them and the skinheads and those that was hanging us from the from the trees and the photographer that took the pictures and, and sold it as postcards would have to agree, I hope. Even though they have a, a, a tendency of, of, of being, you know, big liars. But at the end of the day, uh, 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 according to the curse of Deuteronomy 28, when the Most High told his children, you're supposed to be the head and not the tail. But if you disobey me, you're going to be the tail and not the head. And tail is the least nation on, pla on the planet. The least nation on the planet. There's only one people that fits Deuteronomy 28 that was shipped into slavery to the four corners of the earth. And that's the least people on the planet. The only people running around here don't even have their original names. There is a people that don't have their they, they own name, right? Just so happen to be the Negro that was shipped into slavery, right? Right? <laughs> it ain't. It, 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 what other people were shipped to the four corners of the earth? Deuteronomy 20, 28 said that he was going to uh, ship his children to the four corners of the earth into slavery. They was going to be sold as, as slave men and slave women. What other people? People that don't know the word, look at the part where it's saying, no man shall buy thee. Well, how was they sold a slave that no man will buy you? Just, just be folks that fight against truth, right? <laughs> be silly, right? But what it means when it says, no man shall buy you, mean no man shall redeem you if you study. <laughs> no man will redeem you because your kinsman redeemer can come buy you out of slavery. Because slavery was based on the debt. And if your kinfolk came and paid the debt, then you're free. But the most high say this slavery is going to be different. Ain't nobody going to come get you out of it but me. You're going to serve that 400 years. But at the end of the day, when you when you the type of person that look at the outer appearance, when you the type of person that look at the curse, the results of the curse, the people that are supposed to be the head are now the tail. None of the historical credit goes to them. They got major historical credit. But after they're kidnapped and their 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 heritage is erased 
and assumed by somebody else, including their identity, is assumed by somebody else, then they're just nomads. They're just they're just in the way. They're they're useless eaters. They're, 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 nobody care when you shoot them down. Um, uh, hands up, please don't shoot. No, nobody care nothing about that. No, nobody care nothing about you. And so if a vessel like that come with the word, they don't want to hear that. Not from you. Folks, when folks thought the Ashkenazi Jew, the, those that are the synagogue of Satan, was the people, they sending millions and millions and mil billions of dollars uh, to Israel, to them, because of racism. They sending billions of dollars to them. them. Them is the dirtiest people on the planet. Period. Everywhere they went, they killed people and stole their lands and kind of like, uh, kind of, con I can't even talk right now. What the heck is wrong? But colonists colonized them. What a nice word for such an evil civilization. They got these words, these buzz words to make it look like what they did is cool. They came and Christopher Columbus got a, a, a doggone day to be celebrated. That joker was a pirate. You want to know? He was a pirate. He was a rapist, a child molesting pirate. Period. He was a kidnapper, stole his land, killing indigenous people. Po poor Pocahontas, they got that into a love story. She was a, about a 11, 10 year old, 10 or 11 year old kid in a love affair with a grown pirate. Didn't ship to England to be raped some more. Come on, y'all. When you look at the package, the world cannot accept who true Israel is. That the most high gonna force them to. Don't get it twisted. It's coming out in the wash. <laughs> the hundred and forty four thousand coming forth too. And they're gonna be virgin men handling their business. And there's a prelude to them, and that's us. We getting it in because can those dry bones live? The answer is yes. Ezekiel 44 prophesied to them. They waking up and we finding out who we are. Yeah, the Middle East is Africa. And that's where it all went down. We, we, we finding out Negro land over there in in, in, in Nigeria, uh, uh, nigger area or Ni Nigerian, uh, uh, Nigerian Niger. I'm not mad. They turn terms that really belong to us into byword. You know, they put that little accent they got on it, Niger, nigger, whatever. But at the end of the day, we're finding out who we are and we're his people, and he waking us up. And you got people that can't stomach that. They, they will reject truth based on what? Guilt? What they have done to us or and what they're doing? But everybody not down with that. There are Gentiles that are grafted in. You can't take the, the sloppy position that even Israel had. I, I don't want to be too hard on that because... It was a time in Torah, in history, that we wouldn't fellowship with other nations. And that's the truth. Come out from among, be separate. And when we did, we got caught up in their paganism. Well, because of that, we've been subdued by their paganism. We've been shipped into slavery and we're subdued by their paganism. 100%. We run around here with, with Roman crosses. That's paganism. We got a new name that came from paganism. We got we got we, we we got new holidays. Tammuz, we celebrating Tammuz's birthday and his resurrection as the Mashiach's resurrection and, and birthday. Paganism. But when 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 we had the truth, we didn't respect it. So this is the results. But now he's waking us up. Now he wants to restore us back to be the evangelists of the planet. He wanted to take it back from Satan's children and give it back to his children. And for that to happen, because these jokers is, is armed down to the bone. They are so armed, they think they're going to fight against Yah. <laughs> but right now, they got the world under this deception. They, they, they deceived them. They, they don't know right from wrong, up from down. They twist it. You got Israel so twisted. It don't matter. It don't matter, man. <laughs> Romans the third chapter say what advantage of it being Yahudim what advantage of it being a true Jew 
much in every way. Does it matter? The word said yes, much in every way. But you got to be spiritual to understand that. Think, see, you so carnal, you think knowing who you are is carnal. <laughs> and you think ignoring it is spiritual. Well, being spiritual is accepting truth. 100% accepting truth to who you are, accepting his process, who he chose, Abraham's seed, is to accept that, not to hate on the Gentile because they're grafted in as well. But you can't see that. You only doesn't, you didn't, they didn't beat and whipped you so bad. You so scared, shaking in your, uh, just go on with that. You need to wake up and quit being a uh, 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 religious and carnal thinking, calling evil good and good evil. If I admit who I am, I'm carnal, right? I'm going against Jesus, right? <laughs> and when he went out from thence, he came into his own country. The problem is he came into his own country. That's the problem. You want to know what the problem is? People was familiar with him. They had a reason to reject truth. That's the problem. In this one Verse right here. And when he went thence, came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. The problem was he went to a place that people wanted to say they knew him. And knowing him gave them a reason to reject truth. I ain't got to accept the truth from him. I know him. I know his mama. Who he think he is. That whole thing. Oh, a nigger? That's a nigger. That can't be. That can't be. That can't be. That can't be. The, the people of the most high. There was a little video right here. A, the, little, the little white kid, uh, I think he went into, he had a dream or whatever, went into whatever, but when he came out of it, he said, Jesus is a nigger. <laughs> Can I talk like that? Y'all offended? You been called that before? Or have you called somebody that before? I'm talking about with the ER, not the guh, the gur. Was it derogatory? Well, there's nothing wrong with the Negro term, okay? Call me a nigger. I'm Niger all day. Believe it. So is Shaul. <laughs> so is the Mashiach. Hair of wool. Feet like burnt copper. They changed it to bronze, trying to lighten him up a little bit. But burnt copper, burnt in the furnace. I ain't mad. I'm waking up to who I am. And when he went thence, he came to his own country, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him was astonished, saying, from whence come, come, uh, come these things? They weren't saying, from whence come him, because they knew him and his mom and them. They were saying, where did he get this wisdom from? We got to get away from this wisdom, and we're going to use the fact that we know him to do it. We're going we're gonna to use... Uh, that familiar spirit. We 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 knew him when when, when we, we we know that his mama cheated on his daddy. We know he a bastard. You know, Macklin's conception that she cheated on Joseph and gonna come up with her. Talking about the Ruach Hagadesh came upon her. We see we know him. A little bastard running around here wanna. Can I talk like that? What well, the word says, if you be without the father's ch chest high, then all you bastards and not son. I think that's Hebrews, the twelfth chapter. Yeah. But they thought he was a bastard, right? They wanted to know from what's coming these mighty works that's wrought by his hand. What is he on? Angel dust or something? He drink? Something wrong with this boy. Because he came to reprove people of their sins. And when you start reproving people of their sins and reproving and, and correcting them, folks don't take that. Folks don't like that. Folks will get mad at you. Folks will say, man, who is this? Who are you, I, you know, folks, man, man, who is this? Who do you, you think you is? Let me check your FICA score. Toe up, to her. FICA score whooped. <laughs> what school we go to? Dropped out of school to add insult to injury. Joker got a messed up FICA score. Dropped out of school. Don't even know how to talk. I know this joker, man. Ain't that that? He, wasn't he in jail? It's not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother James, and, and his brothers and them. And, and I know I know his sister. And they were offended. Who does he think he... Look, 
We got to get past that type of stuff, y'all. We got to get past. Look. Listen. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. That's number one, right? We have this treasure in earthen vessels, right? The treasure is the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of eternal life. The, the, the spirit that's able to get in your business and remake you, give you a, a makeover. Will cause you to become a new creation in him. What's going to do that? The word. Out of... Uh, the word becoming flesh. See, the, the 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 mystery is the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Catholicism turned him into a trinity because they don't understand it was Yah that was manifesting the flesh. And Yah is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He is the Ruah. The Ruah HaKadosh, that's him, not a separate deity. But Catholicism came and tripped him up because for Egyptology and actually Tammuz, Simotheus, whatever her, her crazy name is, and Nimrod. But at the end of the day, he's always been one. The biggest commandment in the word is that he's one, period. Hero Israel, know that uh, Yah thy Elohim is one. One, one uh, Adonai, one, period. But, but it's been Catholicized, and we got to reject that stuff and get back to the truth. And you can't get the tripping off the package that truth come in. You can't, you can't, you cannot start trying to size people up, doing background checks and all that. The word is the word, irregardless. And if the background check come up faulty, what you gonna do? Reject the word? Some people are carnal enough to do that. And, and you got to know this: if you get separated from truth, you separated from it. It was a blessing to be with the Mashiach. It was a blessing to be with the uh, patriots. It was a blessing to be with the children of Israel. It was a blessing to be with his disciples. It's the truth. And if you get expelled from that, those, those are the ones with the beautiful feet that bring forth glad tidings of good things. If you get separated from the carriers of truth, then you separate it. Folks would like to get the big head and believe they can get it without them. How can you hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except he be sent? You got solo bolo folks. Think they're going to get them by themselves. That's not the plan. Just like I told you the other day, even Shaul himself, eloquent in the, in the scriptures. But when he, when, when, the, when the most high, when, when, the, when, when the Messiah knocked him off the donkey and blinded him to reveal his blindness, he had Ananias come lay hands on him. He just didn't do the, uh, uh, the, the solo bolo. He had to go through the process, and all of us got to go through the process. You ain't just finna just, don't work like that. Anyway, for first say, and Yahushua said unto them, a prophet is without honor, it's not without honor. A prophet is going to be honored. The Most High is going to make sure that his folks is honored. Do not get it twisted. There's going to be some folks that's going to support the man and the woman of Yah. Anyone is carrying his word and doing his work, the Most High is going to supply for them, even if he go around your stingy, scandalous self. Can I talk like that? I just did. And Yahushua said on them, a prophet is not without honor. He's not, he's going to get honor. But in his own country, he's going to have a problem. With jokers to think they size you up and know you, you're going to have a problem with them type people. Among his own kin, your mama and them. Uh-uh, I don't want to hear that. Your daddy and them. Going to have a problem with the no. I know you. I raised you as scandalous as you is. I changed your dirty diapers. Who you think you trying to teach? I teach you. You don't teach me among his own kin. Without honor. You're not going to get the just do that's coming to you because, not of you, because of that treasure that's in earthly vessels. The Ruach HaKadosh, the greater one that's living inside of you, because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. It's the truth anyhow, y'all. And Yahushua said on them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, among his own kin, and in his own house. Spouse looking at you crazy. You coming with truth, they, who you think you are? So now, now all of a sudden, you holy now, huh? <laughs> Fifth verse, look what it say. I'm going to let y'all go because I, I don't want to go way over, but I sure feel like teaching right now because I'm free this morning. But I'm not going to do that to y'all because I know y'all got stuff to do. But the fifth verse say, 
And he could there do no mighty work. Did you hear that? This is the Mashiach. This is Yah in the body, y'all. This is the creator that got the world hanging the air on nothing. And the earth is Yah's, the fullness thereof, they, and they that dwell therein at. He could not do mighty works because they sized him up. Because they were familiar with the background. They found out something about him. I know him. His mama ain't cool. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid hands upon a few sick folk and healed them. In his own, amongst his own, he was able to help. Very little. He couldn't do what he could have did had they accepted the truth for the truth. Had they accepted the truth for the truth. Israel can do more for the planet if they was willing to accept that they Israel. Oh, they gonna accept it. <laughs> the process is already started. They gonna accept it. Like it or not, they gonna find out that the Negro that you've been having your foot on his neck, the one you didn't want to uh, grow, grow, uh, or live inside of your neighborhood, the one that you want to frame and shoot because he had a wallet in his hand, he had a dog on Snicker Bar, and you killed him. Talking about you thought it was a what? Y'all calling the police on him for for drinking coffee, for sitting, for standing, for uh, selling Kool Aid, for uh, for smiling, for laughing, for getting their hair done, for just killing him, and then get sent to Disneyland. You don't leave with pay? <laughs> what? Should I go kill me a nigga? What y'all gonna do to me? Oh, I'm going to jail. Or to hell. Because you might kill me for killing us. Two for one. We need to cut that out, y'all. He couldn't do no work. He, could, he couldn't do no my work. Save he was able to help a few folk. Because folks sized him up. Know when the word is around you and appreciate it. Don't take it for granted. Because there's a whole lot of false doctrine out there for you. And if you got itching ears, you're going to go get you some. There was a parable, and I'm going to get out of here, y'all. But there was a parable, right? And I taught it recently. But how the owner of the vineyard came to eat fruit off this tree. And it didn't have none. And so he was like, three years, I came to this doggone tree to get fruit. It wasn't none. Why is it in the ground? Cut this joker down and get, get it up out of here. And you don't want to play with the most high. When the most high send you the word, whatever you do, don't make the mistake of sizing up who bringing it, provided it's the word. You got to know it's the word, though. If it's a burning bush, take your shoes off and bow down. Don't get stupid. Oh, I hate bushes. Hey, check this out. He's using the bush right now. Take your shoes off. You're standing on holy ground. Bow down and listen. And if he sends someone that you know or thought you knew or think you know, reconsider if he's become a new creation or she's become a new creation. Don't let them being your spouse throw you off. Don't let it because they're your child throw you off or you used to visit them in San Quentin. Don't let that throw you off. The only thing should throw you off is what they teaching is off. If what they teaching is off, then you need to roll off. But if it's the truth, quit tripping. All right? Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this sermon, that quick word, word of wisdom. We pray that the word went forth, that we may uh, treasure the treasure that's in earthland vessels, even if uh, the vessel is a Negro the anointed a vessel that's been shipped into the four corners of the earth and despised and spit on and hung from trees. Uh, can those dry bones live? They live in right now. Prophesy. The word is waking us up to who we really are. We're not the thought. We're not the thug. We're not the, uh, you know, the one that's paddling drugs. We're your, your, your anointed children. Continue to resurrect us. And even the Gentile that you have drafted into our family tree, Anoint them even the more and use us collectively for your last day bidding. And please allow your children to see past the outer appearance and see your work. 
the treasure that you have given to us to rescue us. And we be careful to give you the praise and not, not only now, but forevermore. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. That was the lesson for this morning. We pray that the word found you and blessed you and um, and that you govern yourself accordingly. If the lesson blessed you and you believe it's true, then push the share button. Uh, those in your uh, st stratosphere, in your, in your uh, uh, digital Rolodex, might press press it and learn something. You might repent and come to the most high. So push the share button if you're willing. If this if this ministry is a blessing to you and you want to be a blessing to it, then you can. All you gotta do is go to PayPal, put in Derek Man 5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N -N, 5857 at Yahoo.com if you want to. And if you want to hang out I got a little time this morning, so I'm not tripping. We can talk about it. 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Come on, y'all hang out for, with me for a minute. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.